there. Good morning. Good afternoon. But no, really? What? I'm doing the intro to the show, man. What happened? Is it Billy June? Ro- no. Rocky Who's there? Just- Rocky literally with the loudest cough that he has. Oh. The second I say good morning, he just, yeah. I, good morning. Ah, ah. You, come on, man. You see, the, you see Sipes wearing the monster shirt today. So you I mean, know he's a Jewish dog. He he's a, Jew, he's a Jewish he's dog on the upper left side. He's like, I'm for clump. <laughs> By the way, he is the the obligation that people have to say something. And I get it. I, I've accepted that um, it's unusual. What? I guess people I guess people don't hear like a little dog making a loud coughing sound. Oh. Uh, so they have to say something. What like it, like oh you should check on your dog. Ex- <laughs> like you think you're hearing it one time in the street. I hear it every day in my home. Yeah. Yeah, no no we we I give him medicine 3 times a day. Yeah. We're we know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, is he or there's a joke like there's a weird Oh, he must smoke. You get that one. That's yeah. I at least like that because you're making a joke. I like. Okay, the I'll joke. take a joke. Yeah, better than yeah, like you... you're worried. You don't need to be. Don't worry about him. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Isn't he nah, cute? The dog. The dog. The dog fraternity. Y'all people. When y'all nah. No, the thank you. The talking is too much sometimes, bro. Don't give a fuck about you. Don't say hello to you. Just go right to the dog. By the way, and I just want to say, I don't do that. Like, I always address, if I see a dog that's beautiful and I'm interested in it, I go to the owner and go, oh, my gosh, what kind of dog do you have? Um, and I can then I read, are they interested in having a conversation or do they just want to go about their day? Yeah. What, are, what are they looking for in this moment? Because sometimes, oh, my gosh, the touching without yeah. asking yeah. is a crazy thing, too. Don't just walk up. You don't know what. Bear's energy is like, what if he wants to bite your head off? You don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah, people. So, no, we're, we people are weird. I'm not going to, I listen, I love it. I wouldn't have it another way because I love the animals, but I, I'm, you're not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're wrong for what you're saying. It's um, just a whole nother level of just weirdos. And you already have enough weirdos in your life. Like, how many more weirdos do you need? The hip hop yeah. weirdos is a lot to deal with. Hip hop, hip hop. The no, not not weirdos. The weirdness of hip hop people is a lot to deal with. What, what which kind? The kind I got. Yeah, I went to um Scratch Bastard Barbecue yesterday. Oh, Scratch Bastard. Scratch Bastard. First of all, great guy, incredible guy, incredible Do I know DJ. Scratch Bastard in person? Huh? Do I know him in person? I don't know. He's a he's a fan. He's a one up fan. Love him. Wait, he, he a freaky ass. He is 69 God. I don't know about that. I just know he's a. You say he's a fan. Yeah, but I don't know if he's that kind of fan. Just oh, fan oh, of the podcast. Now it's different when you say he's a fan. Uh, you know? And uh, he put a, he puts on a great event. So I got there yesterday. Russell Peters Wait, is was DJing. A, is that a is that a is that a event he's done many times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he travels with it. Oh, okay, but not always here. Got it. No, no, I knew I'd everywhere. heard of it, but yeah. I didn't know it was here. Yeah, so I've seen him. I, I know Cardi does him when he does Montreal and Toronto, and like he does other states, other cities. Now it was a free concert, which I don't understand how any of this works. I am not. I'm a terrible businessman. Well, there's so many things you're bad at. So yeah, you, I'm you a know terrible I mean? you gotta, <laughs> How do you put together all this shit? Why is he in our city with all our friends doing shit that they love to do shit for him? And wouldn't even come to any of our shit. I get there. Russell Peters is DJing. Uh, doing how's, how's, thing. Russell, how's Russell Peters as a DJ? Oh, incredible. Incredible? No, no. He's a DJ. He's a DJ, bro. It's not a hobby. He's a DJ that did comedy. That does comedy. I, I No, I know that. Yeah. I, I, I've never seen him actually gig, though. I just see him at, I've seen him at home messing around i've never seen him out i mean it's an outdoor event on a sunday you don't have to go hard like you're playing songs for people you know there was a lot of people in front of the stage kind of grooving and then there was a lot of people just sitting on the sides there was people walking by that just were checking out what was going on and it was like an older hip-hop event you could smell a little weed in the air but nothing crazy those food trucks it was you mean nice. Mary Ju- you're talking about mary juana mary juana was in the air 
But like, it wasn't like what you expect at a hip hop event. There was like a, there was kids there. It was really nice. And then I get there. Um, Smith and Wesson goes on with Russell Peters. Craig G was there. Craig G was like, I guess like kind of hosting. Or maybe he was just hosting with Russell. Maybe he was talking for Russell Peters. Uh, Smith and Wesson went on, killed it. Um, I saw Greg Nice there. Um, I saw Jay Period. Uh, a lot of us, uh, Scram Jonesy, so Scram Jones. I saw, uh, you know, Gorilla Nems. There was a lot of people in the background. It was an all-day event, like three to like midnight. So like, you know, people were coming in and out. I jumped on with my brother Max Glazer for the reggae set. And you got on the mic? Yeah, I was on the mic with him the whole time. Oh, you know, I'm back in the Federation. I'm back wait. in the DJ crew, the Federation sound. What do you mean you're back? Wait, you, were you out? Were you kicked out at some point? Well, I started the Federation with Max and Kenny. And then I got at Flex got mad that I was in a different DJ crew and yelled at me. So I had to leave it alone. That doesn't sound like Flex. No, it does. It does sound like Flex. Oh, I'm sorry. But, and, then, it wrong. and then it does- it's about to be the 25 year anniversary. And I was like, I want to I want to be down with my boy, Max Glazer. Again, I said, can I rejoin the Federation? And he said, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, you whatever. Can. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Pay your dues. Put your dues in. Um. So I went there with him. You didn't think right. Just curious. You didn't think right now you had enough stuff going on. You said, you know what? Let me get back in this DJ. This is is 100% hobby. I'm not doing none of the business with Max. I'm not working on the (laughs) T-shirts. I'm not booking the venue. This is a hobby. Just let me know when the event is. And if I'm around, I'm there. Hopefully you'll have me. That's it's I like that. that. I, it's something that I, it, look. Max is one of my best friends in the entire world, and now I'm down. With, I, it's like a DJ crew, like a shout out on the radio. You know what I mean? Like, save the sounds from the Federation. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing. I'm not mad. Nothing crazy. I'm not mad at what you're saying. You and your college boys bring back the crew. Do something not, every not, once in a while. I'm not mad. No, that's and fun. then, um, and then, uh, it's well, fun. that right when I I, I saw Buster. I saw Buster's security, and I saw Escalade, and I was like, mm-hmm. Buster's in there, and and I was, they were like, yeah, but he looked like, the security was like, I don't know, he didn't look like he wanted to be bothered, and uh, I was like, he's getting on, they're like, oh, we don't know yet, and then as soon as I left, I hear the crowd go crazy, like, I'm like, four blocks down, going to part where I parked my car, and I hear the crowd goes crazy, I said, oh, Buster just, Buster just came out. Buster loves But it was fun, home. man, it was, it was a good time. Um, that's dope, man. I, I didn't even, I, I saw it pop up on people's, um, I saw it pop up on people's stuff, uh, their socials and I didn't even know it was happening. And I was like, oh man, that looks like a pretty good time. I mean, I, I just saw it. I guess I follow scratch Bass, So I saw him posting it. I missed a couple of good things this weekend. There, there were a couple of good hip hop things this weekend. There was well, a- I was at the country music awards in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, I wasn't at the awards, but that's what was going on. So I was down there in Nashville with the Watts. The Watts. Oh, say what? And then and then what? Watts. I'm gonna I'm gonna sum short of the word white. What? Why? Why? Monster music? No, no, I was doing shows. I was at Zany's Comedy Club. Coincidentally, or you knew that would be a good weekend, or just happened that the weekend you were there is. No, it's probably why they booked me, thinking I'd bring some urban flavor to to uh, shift the country music awards, but it, I did not. I do not. Listen, so you don't you don't listen. bring any ur- urban flavor, or you don't you know, bring any shout flavor? to Grape Runner. Grape Runner is a one up fan, a patron. Oh. He pulled up with his beautiful wife. They, he brought me some shirts and some hats for the kids. Grape Runner did. Gr- Grape Runner, good guy, Mexican and black. Okay, so you um, bring some culture. No, so what do you, mean? you just said he's Mexican and black. He was the only, oh. he was the only one. He came uh, by himself. Here's, a, here's what I want to tell people, and I need you to know this: hip hop wise, I'm Nas, Jay Z, DJ Premier, Boom Bap, KRS One, um, uh, Smith and Wesson, Black Moon, Flavor. You know what I mean? True. Then if you want to even go a little more, like, uh, you know, uh, Beat Nuts, 
That's my vibe, music wise. That's who I am at in the core. Comedy don't don't mix me with no hip hop shit. Comedy is like Ellen Claycorn. No, no, he's comedy. Like, no, no. I'm I'm Office, all of Parks and Rec, Thirty Rock, Community. But your but your but your stand up isn't your stand up has is closer to your hip hop. My stand up is Parks and Rec. My stand up is. Hey, white people, I come from the hip hop world, and here's some non threatening, somewhat, I seem super New York on stage to you because you're not from New York, but I seem like I'm super New York, which I am super New York, but I'm not super hip hop when it comes to the comedy. So these comedy clubs think they're going to book me, and they're like, oh, we'll do like a black night, and they book me. Mm mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You don't think you fit in? Not that I don't fit in. They don't come to see me. Oh, 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 oh. I could fit in if they came, if they pulled up, if they popped oh, oh. out. If they popped out and showed. If so they if popped they out and up. showed. So if they showed up there, you you'd be comfortable delivering a set that would that crowd would enjoy. B- black people that like the office. 30 rock <laughs> parks Things and of that rec. nature. Yeah. No, I got I, I gotta. Emilio, I was doing um, a podcast over the weekend, uh, uh, Patreon for Cheap Heat, and Emilio and Stack Guy Greg were there, and I brought up where you were live. No, on 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 the on the pooter. Oh, <laughs> and I was trying to make fun of my agent and and close friend uh, who you know Dipperstein. Yeah, and I was trying to make fun of him for the relationship that he has with his best friend. Cause like I was, I was, I was being annoyed because Dipperstein went and stayed at for the weekend with his best friend in Westchester, and then came to us when he had an event in the city on Sunday night. But like, I don't want to hang out on Sunday night. Like it's Sunday night. I got to go back to work the next day. Uh, I'm boring. No, I did, but my preference would have been a good Saturday hang. Right. The only so, your only day is Saturday. Yeah. Fr- no Friday. 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 We mean uh, uh, it's half a day. It's half a day. <laughs> Don't throw it away. So I was, I was saying like, I was kind of, I was kind of complaining, and I was like, whatever. It's his, it's, it's his best friend. I was like, I, I get it. You know, it's fine. I was like, but Dip does have a little bit of a like, and I was try, I wanted to come up with the reference. I was trying to reference that he sometimes he treats his best friend Howie a little bit like Michael Scott treats Packer. <laughs> Right, that's like funny. just thinks he's so funny, you know, like everything that's he does, funny. Is, that's everything funny. he does is so funny <laughs> and so great, and it's like, oh, you're not gonna believe what Packer said, you know? That's funny. And by the way, don't get me wrong, his yo, his best friend is great. He really is. Actually, I was <laughs> hanging out with him, and he he was aware of you because he like follows the Chrysler kind of world and knows oh, yeah, you from, yeah, 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 from yeah. that area. So he is a great guy. But I was trying to make the reference. That's funny. And and stack guy Greg and Emilio both are like. Never watch The Office. Never. And they said it with Wait, almost what? like. No. Yeah, I'm starting to see a lot of people like that. And they were saying it almost with like a sense of pride. And I was like, wait, wait. And then they started referencing other shows they haven't seen. And I'm like, you guys have it in the wrong. I've never seen Two and a Half Men. I've never. I was like, yo, all these other shows. Oh, you're mentioning. that makes sense. I said, I've never, I've never seen the shows you're mentioning either. I can see how they would think that is that. But I was like, you guys don't know the joy, the legitimate, high level comedic joy that is the office. Yeah. You think it's just some, you think it's just a random show that everybody, I, it's like, it's like everybody does like, I get it. It's, it's massively popular. But I, I don't know. And then I started, I was like, am I, am I, 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 I even get, show? I even get people. Who don't like Seinfeld? I can even get Me that. Me too. But I don't get it if you don't like The Office. I don't get it. I and I told them both. Emilio, super Italian, Staten Island, SGG, super Black Harlem. I said I know people of both of your exact demos who yeah. love The Office. Yeah. Everybody who tries The Office that I've found 
enjoys it. Now, I know what by saying this, we're going to have Discord people going, I never fucked with The Office, blah, blah, also, blah. Also, you can't, I mean, if someone is highly against it and you finally get them to go watch it, you can't, they can't start from season one, but then they don't get what's happening if they start from like season three. It's almost like you have to walk them through. You have to sit with them for a couple of runs. You, well, you do. Yeah, you you do want to probably start it pretty early. And but but like once you've watched it a little bit, you could pop in any time. One you just is want to have one a is setup. one is harder to digest because one is very much trying to copy the British one. Yeah, before they found a, their own footing. Right, and thank the Lord they got enough time to catch that groove. Yeah. And and I and I always try to tell people I'm like listen. I was the biggest fan of the British Office. I was obsessed. I had the DVDs. Yeah. Early. Yeah, me too. Early. I never thought I'd like the American one. I was like, this is gonna be ass. It's a different show. Totally different show. And it's yet it show. crushed. Do you remember that I've known BJ Novak since I was a little kid? I remember you saying that. Yeah. Wait, does that I, also I, have to do with Sarah Silverman? No, unrelated. Not related. Okay, unrelated BJ Novak, a DC little... guy. No. Oh, he's a Boston guy. Uh, my cousin. dad and his, my dad and his dad uh, are friends, for, going all the way back to like college. Crazy. So I went to an event the other day. Can I talk about this event? No, you got to talk about it. You made me talk about my shit, and I'm now in the fucking gutter because of it. All I did was ask. All no, I you did, made me talk about 40 no, shit. I pushed. I did push. I went, I went, nah, you should do it. I did. <laughs> I did. No, I went to an event that was. Uh... Oh, no. It was oh, with, no. it was with, it was with other. Jeez. Did you go to an AKM? What's that? AKM, anti Kanye meeting? Yeah. It would have been if, if that convo would come up, it would have been that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I went to this thing to talk about issues of the day regarding Jeez. Uh, I've never been invited to anything like it, but Oh, this was like an event for them. Like it was like a it was in it was thing. to have it was to have a conversation about issues and like how we should maybe Got it. Got people it. P- people in the industry, you know. And I went in, of course, knowing I'm going to have a different view than a lot of people at this thing. Yeah. But let's see how it goes. Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, and I definitely made my views known. Uh, I think some of it I did well on. I think some of it I probably... What, what was the how were you, What was the setup for this? It was at a person's home. Oh, it was one of those? Oh, shit. Oh, how many people? Twelve? Twenty? Wait, was it? Oh, maybe it was eighteen? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> maybe it was eighteen? <laughs> it was it was someone invited me who I we both know. And they're like, Yeah, you should go. Let me see if you if you could go. And I I, I was like, you know what? All right, I'm gonna go. And it was at an apartment. Yeah, this apartment, bro. Fire. Apartment was fire. It was only an apartment, technically, because it's in a building. It was a home. But it was a it was a house. It was was a house in a building. It was a home. Yeah. It was. (laughs) There wasn't upstairs. I I didn't go upstairs, but there was. It was a penthouse and had upstairs. Yeah, there's a house. Uh, Those kind of places are houses, but they just stacked on top of all the houses. And it's um. And by the way, though, here's the funny part. The dude whose place it was, and I'll tell I'll tell you off the air, all, all the people, but the dude whose place it was is young and, like, just came up in the last few years. Mm. And when I met him, I said, I said, hey, I'm not all the way familiar with everything you've done, but I just want to say congratulations because yeah. this shit. And he was like, you know, it was it was great. I've never seen a more down to earth dude who just come up. He was like, "This is crazy, right?" He was like, "This is no family wealth. This is all me, baby." Wow, wow, he said that. Yeah, he was like, wow. "This is all me." I gave him. A, I was like, "Yo, 
props. And then he told me what he did. I was like, but what do you do specifically again? And then he laid it out and I went, oh yeah. The, oh yeah. This is your house. That's yeah. exactly right. Anyways, he was very cool. There were a few very cool people there. There were a few people who did not like me as much. Um, from like you from the get go or after you spoke? After I spoke. They didn't and know who again, you were before. They didn't know. I don't, they didn't know who I was after. <laughs> The only people who, the only people who knew who I were after were the people who liked me because they came up and talked to me afterwards, and they would be like, yeah, and, "Hey." And this was what all like in like a living room area. Yeah, at a and big just dining everybody room would table. speak. Everybody would have different. Yeah, this is yeah. the th this is the meeting. No, that this is what people we this is what people make fun of y'all about. I y'all be I, meeting. Yeah, but it, it, here's the funny thing: it didn't end with any. It was literally just an airing of grievances. No, I get I, it. I get it on lo on a local level, but on a grand scheme, this no, is what you're people right. think. You're, no, you're you're a, you're actually right. <laughs> and it was I, my first thing ever being at anything like that, and it was very interesting. Yeah, and it also was at times very frustrating. Um, the 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 main point, the the craziest thing that was said was one person said. They went, you know. There was a lot of concern. Here's what bothered me. There was a lot of concern for, about, like, anti-Semitism. And I get it because, trust me, I know probably better than anyone in the room based on the kind of job that I have. I'm aware that anti-Semitism is on the rise. I've seen it in my own life. I've watched it. I see it. I, I can see it. But I think when we're only talking about the anti-Semitism, we're missing some of what some of the things are we should be talking about. It's not we're talking about what's happening at the end. We're not talking about how we got there. There's some other things going on besides, I don't know. I just all of a sudden people don't like us as much. Eh, let's talk about everything going on. Let's include it all in the conversation. And and trying to decide if it's appropriate to say i think it's fine i'm not giving any information what the who the food cares so someone said and this person was a lovely person it turned out but this person said you know my husband we live in x part of town and like he's he's like scared to go out and even wear, he's scared to wear his idf shirt right now because if he wears his idf shirt he's scared he he would get yelled at on the street this is and he wants person. to wear this shirt because he was in it Okay, so real quick, people who may not know, if you don't live in New York, you don't pay as much attention, IDF is the Israeli Defense Light Forces. Yeah. So people have always had IDF shirts. Like oh. that's a thing that's existed always. Like okay. you go to Israel, you might get a shirt. Like that Like that goes back a very long time. Right. It's not, it's not – there was a time – when the connotation of it would kind of just be you went to Israel. It's, it, would, it didn't mean anything necessarily as much. Right. But when she said that, this was my first time talking. By the way, Saif, of course, and this isn't my fault this time. Okay. I was also the last person to get there because <sighs> I was the last person added to the event. So I only found out that I was definitively <clears throat> good to go right before it started. Right. So I like ran up, I ran up there and went there. So I walk in dead last after everyone's already seated. Yeah. So I get no pre-mingling, right, no right, introductions. Right. Yeah. I just am sitting down listening. And about 10 minutes in, the lady tells the story. She's like, and my husband's scared that if he wears his IDF shirt, he'll get yelled at. And I went, um, I would yell at your husband if I saw him wearing an IDF shirt right now. <laughs> that was my, I was like, I, what? You can't wear an I, no, that's crazy. You can't, no. And um, that's just a small example. <laughs> like, there were people who said things that were really made sense and were thoughtful. There were some things that I think were useful to hear. And then there were some things that were frustrating. All of it, though, I'll say, I wish I'd... I'm, I'm having a moment right now where I'm trying to learn how to express myself in a way that's not so hammer and nail like i've been doing for the last 17 years or probably my whole life that's just it hasn't been very effective <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like it's been entertaining and it's been it's been entertaining and other other people's radio shows who other people who have radio shows that i appear on 
have gotten to have like entertaining moments because I'm like a while out entertaining guy. But like in the end, I end up having either my reputation damaged. I have to worry about my physical well-being or like maybe I'm doing professional damage that I don't even know about. Because Saif, I'm guessing the worst professional damage you do is the stuff you never even hear about. It's just someone who in their brain goes, oh, yeah, I don't fuck with them anymore. Wait, what is that again? Like the worst professional damage. Like, like someone has asked me, do, do you think you speak? Let's say the Israel thing, for example. Do you think you speaking out on Israel like has been bad for you? Uh, and I, I always go, I don't know. Right. I won't know until I'm right. up for some job in five. And I still won't know. You won't know. Yeah. I'll never know. You'll never know. I'll just go, why didn't I? Oh, you know what that's like for me? And it's not its not even close to what it is for you. No, but it still may be, but go ahead. But I look high all the time. And I always wonder, did I not get a gig or an event or something because someone thought I came to the meeting high? You know what I mean? I'll never know. And by the way, you would think that that's stupid. That what he's saying is like stupid. The reason but why I, I, the I reason why I, the conversations when people say to me, yo, Syfe, that guy's high all the time, right? Yeah. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. I wish he was high all the time. Never. He'd be fun. I've never smoked never high. But the thing is, the way people get excited when they think I am high lets me know there are people somewhere that are upset that because they think I'm always high. You know what I mean? 100%. 100%. So, but but yours is even crazier. Well, yeah, because the views, all my, and, and by the way, the Israel thing, I'm very delicate about that one, and I speak on it with nuance. That's like the one subject I really try to do nuance. But yo, my Trump stuff over the last seven years, that hasn't been nuanced. No, that has been. I'm right. You're wrong. Furthermore, yeah. I'm smart. You're dumb. Yeah, that's that's the part that you're killing people. <laughs> and here's my question for you, Saif. And I guess you've already probably figured this out to some extent because the world you're in certainly is a real mix of everything. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you've adjusted how you joke by watching how rooms react. I, I'm not, I'm not changing hearts and minds this way. So what no. am I doing? No. So so hold on. So real quick, the people who already agree with me continue to agree with me. And so, and and there's no reason for them to react because they go, yeah, the, the, obviously that's the right thing. And that's it. He's saying the right thing. Good. The people who don't agree with me hate me more. Hate you more. Yep. And then there are other people who did like me. But maybe they're not as solidified in what they believe. And maybe for whatever reason, I don't know. I have considered Trump. I don't, you know, and now they go, and I won't fuck with him. He no, because you make them feel bad. Yeah, and I'm making you feel bad. You there's something, there's something going on where I am I, I was thinking this earlier as I was joking. I, we joke around about me being conservative, right? Which I am not anything. I'm not any of those things. I've I, each issue. I find how I feel about each individual issue. But if one issue seems to be conservative, then everything, everyone's like, "Oh, you're conservative." No, no, no. I, I agree with this one thing, but I don't agree with this one thing. Very thing. So, so that what happens with if somebody is on that fence and they hated Trump before, but something about them they kind of get, or they hate Biden. They hate Biden. Right. And this is the only other choice. And they're kind of struggling in their own mind. And you're like, Trump is stupid. If you like Trump, you're stupid. Then they go, uh, I, yeah, but, but, you know, I'm nervous about this or I want to cut taxes on this. Like, so then you throw them off. And now you're and now even if they don't realize that they may just want to avoid you because they don't like the way you're making them feel. Yeah, so I'm saying like because you go hard. So you give them no leeway. And before people get mad at me who are listening to us, explain to me what, how am I benefiting myself or the world 
Wait, by having open forum. What's happening? Who who do you want to explain? Yeah. No, you look look around. <laughs> Nobody's how here. Am, how am I benefiting myself yeah. or the world by yelling and screaming about how fucking bad I think Trump is? And yes, You're... I think he's that bad. But what am I doing? How am I changing a mind? Am I or am I just patting myself on the back and going, "Good for you"? Oh no, you're you not changing told your mind. Your truth. No, you're doing good. You're doing good entertainment. Yeah, cause, yeah, because the people who hate me can hate me, and the people who like me and like me, and I can split and never be able to I just grow heard it this, anyway. I just heard this quote recently that I used to hear back in the day. Um, people that people that used to love Howard Stern would listen an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah, and the people who hate listen for two hours and 55. yeah, hour forty five. Yeah, so it's like. Maybe you, you, that's there. You, you. I mean, people bring up your name a lot. People bring up your name way more than my name, because I decided to live this in a good way. I mean, in a good way. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. How often is it good? It's it's good sometimes, but no more, more, more bad, more bad. It comes yeah. up more. And 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 by the way, I thought about this recently. I would imagine the three main things I'm known for saying in my life on in hip hop are Starship sucks, Kendrick Lamar is dope, and I don't fuck with Charlemagne are probably the three main things people know about me. Unfortunately, some people probably remember that Chuck D shit too. No, the Chuck D shit's died down a lot. But it's died down. I mean, I think Chuck you got I think that Chuck D one's gone. Um yeah, Kendrick, you're on Kendrick's dick for sure. On Kendrick's, yo, this guy thinks Kendrick's the goat. Yeah, you popped out <laughs> on his dick. I uh, popped out and showed. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, Nicki, the thing. Nicki Minaj thing. Yeah. Now, real quick to update everybody, Nicki Minaj has come out and said Starship sucks. Yeah. Kendrick just won a world-renowned battle where he was crowned basically the number one guy in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody now seems to know, or at least a lot more people seem to be aware that their friend Charlemagne may have not been the friend they thought he was for a long time. It's, it's, these are all these are all <laughs> these takes good have points you're making. Really fucking well. Yeah. And yet I'm not in denial about the fact that because of the way I've approached things, while it may have been entertaining. There's something I did I, I, wrong. The There's Charlemagne thing is wrong. not even the Charlemagne thing is not. He just he's just Charlemagne, like Charlemagne. He's just Charlemagne. He's just he, he's he's doing all the Charlemagne things. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing good, nothing bad, nothing new, nothing big. But if you look, small. if you look at how people now react to him. His Q score among the crowd who used to like him, I'd say, has turned the worm has turned a well, bit. Well, it hasn't it hasn't grown really. It's big, he's bigger. It's bigger. But it's it hasn't bigger. grown. Right. Kinda. Uh I mean, he's he's fine. He's doing fantastic. No, no, he, I'm not worried about him. I yeah. think he's gonna be okay. Yeah. But I also think my take on it hasn't played badly either. I think it's probably been like, oh yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying. So like I was Your trying to think take about is always I told you this before. Your take is always, I agree with you, but I can't because we're black and you're not. You know what I mean? I actually agree with what you're saying, but he's black, so I can't let you know that I agree with you. And then I'm telling you, once I once I got into it with Candace Owens this year, yeah, the second she said to me, I I put out a pretty mundane tweet about about Joe Budden and Candace, like, damn, look at yeah. this shit. Yeah. And the second she hit. You need to mind, don't mind black people's business or whatever yeah. she said. Yeah. Once she put that out there, yeah, it was like she programmed the bots of the world. Yeah, that's all I get now. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good tactic black people can use against non-black people. It's really good. It's yo, know, it's and now as of I'm five days into my new experiment or six days in, five or six days, Saif, I have only retweeted promotional things about my show i have not put i've not tweeted an opinion i'm never tweeting opinions again i'm done <laughs> i'm done i am using twitter for i we have a new one ep episode i did that new episode last week when we dropped new one ep with so and so oh with the uh live from roots picnic yeah. i post the link 
I'm not doing this game anymore because no matter what I say now, I get mind your business. And if that's now, the if the convo is now, I'm not allowed to even comment without just getting told to mind my business. I, I'm just going to not, I'm going to go ahead and not use this platform. It's not yeah. really working for me yeah, yeah, in yeah. a way that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like Instagram, I can at least have a conversation, right? And yeah. like the only time Instagram's bad is like, you probably saw it when you had the 40 thing happen. Instagram will be ha bad just for a few days around the bad thing. And then it fades. Yeah. But day to day, the posts are pretty like, you know, the comments are nice. Oh, hey, great interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can live in Instagram and not feel like a piece of shit. But Twitter is not like that. Twitter for me, it's over. I'm never, I'm done. I don't, there's no conversation to have. What, what am I going to say? And I, and, and, and I, this is all a long way of saying though, I am going to have a new approach. I'm no longer going to allow myself to be that for too long. I've let myself be that red faced yelling maniac for entertainment's sake. And it doesn't, it's not productive. I don't want to have unproductive. I want to be funny, but like if I worked a little harder, I could be funny and wittier and not just screaming and red faced. Because aren't people kind of laughing at me when I do that more than laughing with me? I don't think anyone laughs with you. <laughs> <laughs> right? When I when I do the, <laughs> it's compelling because you want to hear. I guess what dumb thing I'm going to say next, but like. You're not like, oh, I mean, it takes away. Here's the problem I have with you. Same problem I have with Chappelle. Oh, wow. I'm on. If you only watch Chappelle specials, you think he's a homophobic, transphobic maniac. And when people say that to me, I'm like, how, how could you say that? He's one of the most gracious, giving, loving people that I ever met. Bro, I, the Abu Dhabi trip, the Abu Dhabi trip was first class flights. Fox, what, air, what airline were you? Well, I was on United because of the timing, and I wanted to leave from Newark. But still, it was like the, the Polaris first class of United. Oh, the, like, best, the real first class. And I'm a United guy, so my miles is, went through the roof of that trip, right? I'm fine with that. I actually prefer it. But How, how is Polaris? Is dope? It's nice. Bro, I flew on Etihad last bed? year. Etihad is the same exact seat. The same seat that lays down, same function, same booth. Just everything was a little fancier. And Got all it. the detail, the light had a little fringe and all. The same shit. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Um, but first class flight, first class, uh, I mean, uh, five-star hotel, uh, car service, wherever you want to go, food covered to do 15 minutes, one day. I was there for four days. Wait, did, and you opened one day? Yeah, it was only one show. I mean, I and did you, other little shows, but that for Dave, it was only one show. 15 stand minutes. Up. You, for a set or DJing? Stand up. Just a 15 minute stand up. You got to take that trip. Bro, and like, to, wow. And make money. And make money. Oh, he paid you too. Pay me money. But like, bro, my, <laughs> the flight alone is, no, I no, think, the 10 minutes, I think. Minute. Scythe. I'm going to Vegas on Wednesday night. Yeah. I'm being brought out there for one of these fight things. Yeah. I said, listen, I I get it. I know y'all your money's limited. Yeah. I'm only going. That Vegas trip, I I hate it. Yeah. I'm only going if I get that jet blue mint. I'm only <laughs> going if I get mint. Yeah. And I think the total, the total's like yeah, almost three grand or something. Like that's to Vegas. To the flight, because it's a big Jet weekend. Blue. Something's happening. Yeah, it was, I think, the the, oh, no, the, no, the total for me and Natalie was something like close to four grand. Yeah. So, no, maybe two grand each. You went to Abu fucking Dhabi. Yeah, bro. I don't know if that's disrespectful. You went to fucking Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah, it's 10. It's 10. It's got five each way, for sure. And, and on the wrong day, it could be seven and a half each way. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it was probably more. But anyway, um, no, the I point had, is, he's a wonderful, I, lovely guy. Yes, yes my whole point, sorry, the whole by point. Way, by the way, screw how, screw how generous he is, because no one would ever know that. What bothers me about Chappelle, because my dad is maniacal on the subject of Dave Chappelle. Uh, maniacal. He, first of all, he only knows him really from the last five years. Right. 
and he really only knows him from the controversial moments. From headlines, special. right? Headlines? Yeah. And no, no. And then he'll, he will go watch. He'll watch he'll, it? Yes. But he will watch with the eye of, yeah. I'm ready to hate this. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, you know, I've been very honest with you, and it's a, a nice thing that we have on this podcast. I have not been crazy about what Chappelle's angle was on some of that stuff. It has not been my favorite Dave Chappelle stuff. I've said that many times, and I would tell him if he asked me. I've told uh, Corey, his manager, wasn't my favorite. I thought it was a little heavy-handed. It wasn't for me. But I explained to my dad. I was like, Dad, you don't understand. You're jumping into this conversation way late. He has cachet with us. He's been the biggest, most important comedian slash kind of thinker for now since I was graduating college 22 yeah. years ago. Yeah. You can't jump in now and just think that he is this moment in his career, which will just be one moment in this long career. But to the point that you're overall making about the way people then take me in, people, we're made up of all this stuff. But if you're someone who only gets me for the clips that go viral when they yeah. go to hot new hip hop, yeah, when people you know, ask me, uh, how you how you work with that guy? How you I'm like, he don't talk like that <laughs> when we're talking about the podcast or like on the phone or like what would he be what would they be referring to though? Like what would I have what what would the thing be that they'd be referring to? I don't like know. Like specifically, I think it's like the the culture vulture Jewish. So they just so they so they just hate Jews. <laughs> it's not that they hate Jews. Maybe they do, I don't know. But I'm not taking it that way. They don't come like, why you work with that fucking Jew? It's not like that. But it's like, yeah, like, why does he get to speak on these things? I go, well, he speaks on a lot of things. You're only looking at the things that go viral or or, or, or get clips. You know, like, what about all the fucking shit he's done for hip hop? I, I always go back to like, yo, my, me and him have a lot of differences. Me and him have, you know, back and forth all the time. But our respect for each other is based in hip hop. Like it's all hip hop. But this, bro. But this I just can't understand. Uh, whatever. I guess you're right. Back to the Chappelle thing, though. People have their own entry point, and you can't expect that they've done more because they just might not. And Ebro said the other day that he's like, you, "You, there's a new line you need to add to your vocabulary. You need to start saying, "Oh, you don't listen to my show." Yeah. You need to start saying that more. Yeah, that's people, great. Yeah. Oh. You don't listen to my show because you know what I'm getting. Say, so if you want to, you want to know what makes me want to fr freak, yeah. but I'm not going to anymore because it's a new me. Um, I will say something that is completely unrelated. I'll say something about hip hop. This just happened. Yeah, I'll say something about Summer Jam, and they will go, "Why don't you say something about the genocide?" Right, and I. I go, well, number one, <laughs> do I need to explain why it's in itself anti-Semitic that you think because I said something about anything that I have to comment on yeah. Israel? I, I, Okay, obviously I can't explain that part to you. You don't get it. But number two, I do fucking talk <laughs> about the genocide. Yeah, you do. Oh, I fucking do. And not only do I do it, I take actual personal and professional risk to do it yeah, but and you do <laughs> nothing and you don't even know that i do it and accuse me of not Bro, doing it but so just say but it? just say i do no no this is like a comment yes. Bro, this guy hit me oh this guy, you don't listen to my show this go this guy hit me a comment he goes this it was a weird clip my social media guy put up he took this one show where again it was like, we, no, can no, we talk bad. about this new guy? It wasn't bad. It was a one show where I had all these different crazy little rants on purpose. I was like, the show was kind of boring. So I went up there and I was just like spazzing out. And he took all these little clips and put them together. And it was like a funny, he put that music a funny underneath. super clip. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, dun, 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 like some weird TikTok music underneath. And I looked at it. I was like, oh, this is, I would have never thought to do this like this. This is kind of funny. So somebody wrote like, yo, this, um, Something like I think something like boring or something like yo, this is boring. And then I went and looked at that guy's page and I go I wrote back, I go, your private page with 73 followers also looks boring. And and I said, like, I, I I moved on. Like, 
Like you calling me boring? Like your shit has nothing. It's private. You're boring. I I know, and that's, I. But I the thing to... is, I never go back. I never go back and look at responses to comments I made. You know when they like they reply to your reply, and then they, I never do that. I, I I probably should. Oh, you never go back and see what they said after, after I say. Said. I always my thing is like. My thing is, like, I'm going to make a joke that if fans of mine or people that are just coming on to me read the comments and then they see I replied with a, It's always like a joke. Always like a. So it's like, oh, this guy's funny. All I want is people to go, oh, he's funny. That's all I want. Oh, he's funny. He's funny. Uh, um, I, I had a few things written down I wanted to, to mention to you. Bring it up. Um, pop out. Sometimes you do have to pop out. Um, this is awesome. I don't know if you've seen this yet. If you have, guess what? We're going to share it with the people anyway. Because this is so fucking cool, man. Did you see this yet, Sai? Uh, I don't remember. Was this you? No. Oh, this which is one is this? Sway. I don't remember. I, there's a lot of Will Smith clips going around. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so if if y'all haven't seen, Yo, it, you was, it. yours is pretty good. The way that I rap was is based on Grandmaster Kaz yeah, Yvette. It was wow. like I, the Fresh Prince, the character, everything was centered on Grandmaster Kaz's verse Yvette, Bet. and I was like, I want to wow. rap like that. Wow. It was a long time ago, oh, but I'll never, never forget. forget. Got caught in the bed with this girl named Yvette. I was scared like hell, but I got away. Oh! We got Grandmaster Wait, how? <laughs> how? That's good. That's good. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this full, complete, and total inspiration for the Fresh Prince Grandmaster Cab. Yo, oh, man. That's dope. Fucking oh, because he, he's, on, he's on Rock the Bells. Grandmaster Cab is on Rock the Bells. He works at Sirius. So, so, and my guess is either, but even not, my, my Sway knew that answer was coming. Sway, right? Sway had to set that up. Like, right. Knew I, the answer I, was knew coming. Knew the answer, He's yeah. Because yeah. Will says these things, right? Like, Will yeah, has a podcast yeah. right now. Yeah. He does? And I just, yeah. Will has oh. a hip hop podcast. Oh, well, well somebody has good, somebody got to do it. <laughs> Did you ask him if we can be part of it or? You, man, the only, my only frustration was. I loved the time with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. My only frustration was we had like 30, almost 30 minutes probably. Rushy, rushy. And when I got right when we got to the hip hop part, finally, I had a whole list of stuff and yeah. they were like, all right, we got to rap. Yeah. Uh, but I got to tell you, I have never, I want y'all to listen to me clearly. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but Will Smith is making what you would call a comeback based on an event that happened a few years ago <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Whoever his publicist is who set this up, man. No, but that, that, that you can't. This is one of the great. Their strategy, it's not a comeback, though. though, bro. Well, it's a rehabilitation. Fine. I'll take that. I'll take so it's, that. It's a, it's, a, it's a cleansing. He can't. That guy, that guy is unstoppable, bro. The way he speaks, he's compelling, motivational, inspirational. Like no, he's it's disgusting, bro. He, Saif, he did Saif, he did every I looked up. Don't get we were hyped to get Will Smith, because who wouldn't be? We posted more clips of that than anything we post. And guess what? So did everybody else that he went to. And you know what they did this weekend? Bad boys bleeping smashed. Because they got love everywhere. Yo, Will was showing up at the movie theater, greeting people. They did Carmelo and 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 Mero's podcast. They did Sway. They did us. By the way, I think they did everything. What the what the run was? Oh, really? Don't think so. Oh shit! I didn't see that clip moving around. Uh, yeah, think, that's true. I don't think they I saw. Did. Oh, they had. They've been putting up old ones. Oh, they did. They put up old ones because you can see the old had- studio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they had because they had him years ago at, yeah. what, at some point. When? But 
years ago. Oh. Years um, ago. But props to Will and Martin, man. That was so fucking Here's cool. the only thing I hate about this whole Will Smith Martin shit. And that was so dope when you just showed that Grandmaster Cat. His, his face was his face was No, and you realize uh, don't forget what you were gonna say, but I just want to show love to Sway. I I hit him up and told him this. Grandmaster Kaz is one of the most important and under-celebrated characters in yeah. hip-hop history. And don't yeah. get me wrong, he's celebrated by us who know him. Yeah. But he's never gotten the main... That might have been the biggest mainstream celebration. Almost. I'm going to say, like, uh, like, like, definitely, he should be celebrated the same as Herc, as Cool Herc. Yes. He should be celebrated the same as Cool Herc. Because for the MCing level. part, for the MCing part, it's Kaz. He's Man, somebody said something. I think it was Crazy Legs on Drink Champs. Or was, I forget who it was, but somebody was like or, or was it crazy was it crazy drinks on Leg Champs? No, no, no. Leg Champs is my favorite show, but he went crazy drinks wasn't on there. Let me tell you right now, when crazy <laughs> drinks comes on Leg Champs, <laughs> that man goes crazy. He had a he had a little problem, and I get it. There's a those old school dudes have a little problem with Herc when it comes to this man started hip hop because hip hop is four elements and he was one element, a pivotal element, pivotal, pivotal, not taking nothing away from the guy, but like he didn't do graffiti that I know of. He didn't rap. He did didn't he break. break. So I don't know if he did or didn't, but like, so that's like, no, that one party, like they were like hip hop was going on already. We didn't call it hip hop at the time, but graffiti breaking MC, all that was going on already. Why does this one day get the credit of starting the whole culture? But whatever, I get it. Um, what was I going to say before? What were we talking about? So we're saying, but Kaz, though, Kaz is I'm where well, I'm guessing you were going. No, it was it Will. Having Grandmaster Kaz. I forget it. I forgot. What? I think the whole point you were getting to is that with Herc. No, it was, it was something questions. else. That was another tangent. But yeah, um, he should get this. The uh, He should be at the same. But but the, but I, I okay where you started to go by accident then at least to me was that with Kaz though there's no questioning what he did for MCing like he is the MC that so many people base their whole thing off of yeah. it's not real it's basically everyone who came after him to some extent yeah you know what I'm saying I mean the guy wrote the guy wrote the verse on Rapper's Delight. And was seen as the party mover. Right, right, right. It's I hate when people say he wrote it. It was stolen. Yeah, it's his it's his bars. Yeah. Um, but speaking of which, someone sent me a thing today. Am I a bad guy? Oh, this guy who I know is a lovely dude named Adam, who I'm a big fan of. He sent me he sent me a note. He was like, Yo, is this common knowledge? And it was a clip of Jay-Z on on the shop. I wanted to be like the second I saw it was on the shop. <laughs> yes. Wait, what was it? <laughs> And it was Jay Z talking about writing "Still Dre." Oh my god! And he goes, I, I, he goes. I, I had to respond. I wrote, "Which part?" <laughs> and he said, "Him writing the song." The whole thing went, "Yes, that's common knowledge." LOL. I yeah. didn't know what else to say. Yeah, it is common knowledge. Like that's like that's like it wasn't even hidden. I, no, I was like for rap. I, listen, if you're not a big rap fan, I guess it's not common knowledge. Yeah, but for. Yeah, I saw that clip going around because everybody's referencing reference tracks and ghostwriting. So that clip went around. Um, oh, but you know what? Like, oh, man, this podcast shit. First of all, shout out to Joe Button. I asked you for Joe Button's number yesterday. They were talking about me and my 40 I mean, OVO 40 thing. Uh, and they did, they did a pretty good job. Who did? Who did? Joe Button and his crew. What, they talked about it? Yeah. Okay. My manager, my manager is like a podcast, one of those hip hop podcast fanatics. So he listens to everything. So he sent me the clip. And it was pretty good. They, 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 it wasn't bad. They did a good job of like Joe did definitely defending me. That's why I wanted to take his number and thank him. You know, they throw some little, they got their opinions and they throw their little bullshit in there. But it was really good the way they broke it down. They, it was very like. They they broke it down honestly of how it really happened, which I respected. Now some of them didn't agree with me, which is fine. But my, I don't care if you agree with me or not. It's just I want the truth being agree, told. Agree with agree with which part? I sh 
People keep saying I apologized. It sounded like you apologized. But every time I tell, I go, go listen again. I never say I apologize or say the word sorry. And I have no problem with apologizing if there was something I need to apologize for. But this was not an apology. So it's weird. But Joe Button's podcast, yeah, I always, I, don't, I never listen to the podcast. I see all the clips. When the clips, I mean, he's very good at what he does, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, no, I don't, he's very good at I don't that. like, I don't want to do what he does, but he is very good at what he does. Um, and had that crew he got, they're very good at with their with their opinions and they're they're very good at, at expressing their opinions. Um, but what annoys me is one up don't get its credit. And like I watch nor I watch Dream Champs, um, not uh, just a clip, I don't watch I'll listen, but it was Pete Rock and Common on Dream Champs. And <laughs> Like Nori not knowing that Pete Rock made the beat to the bitch in you. Like what? Wait, he, wait, he didn't he didn't know that? No. They told him that? He Yeah, he was like, Have you ever made a beat for like a beef record and someone got no, mad at you? No, wait, and he wait, was wait, like, wait. Yeah, the bitch in you. That's why I'm here with comment. Like <laughs> and Nori was like, Nori was like, Oh, you made that beat? No, and I'm tell like, why you doing this? You can't bring this up. It's uh, that's hey, we can't bring this up. Why? Because I mean, we know you can. It's not a big deal. No, no, I'm not making. Is, I'm not making. I'm not making fun of Nori for not knowing. It just makes it different. It's just a different thing. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm sorry. Does it sound like I'm making fun of Nori? Well, what were you gonna say? No, no I was gonna. Point, my point is that like our fans, like we come in. Already, we I come in thinking my fans already know that, so we just say stuff that I think they should know, and right. maybe they don't know stuff like that. Yes. Oh no, no. By the way, that hurts us for getting those clippable moments. Yeah. Because we don't go, hey, who made the, the bitching? You know, whatever the thing would be, and they go, oh, did you know? Because we know people love to pass around these clips now. That, like I just said are for people who didn't know Jay-Z made right. still DRE. Right. And then, like, bro, there's so – what we used to call one-up gems. There's so yep. many one-up gems in the old episodes. And so like, many. We got to go like, my favorite, My favorite one is still asking Snoop, who was that Jamaican guy in all those Death Row records, man? Yep. And he told us. He was like, oh, you talking about so-and-so. He was the weed dealer. We used to throw him on records. He's on Hail Mary. He's on Chronic. He's on Snoop album. Like, and like just a random and, Jamaican voice on the West Coast. And like, there's no video of that. So we could make a clip of it and it'll just be audio. If we wanted to one day actually take ourselves seriously, which I've fully given up on, um, the move would be to go through those episodes, clip the one or two. If if you have one or two ill ones from an episode, and then get those things animated. And just throw it up and put our logo on it and be like one ep gems animated. Those would move around if the animation was dope. All right, you know what we should do? I think we should pause the conversation here, Sife. Why? Because we got to go to Patreon. But remember, I said I was quitting. Well, no, but you remember what I said. When we go to Patreon, we could say anything we want. Nothing right. will come out. Yeah, nothing will, nobody will safe. bootleg my shit and put it out and put me under pressure, no way. you fucking assholes. So we're going to go to Patreon.com, even though we quit and even though we're safe. So let's go to Patreon.